Hello and welcome back to Nier Asamata. We're on the bunker and I believe we have mail. Oh, that's not the mail one. Here we go. Jackass. Fish. Hey, sorry to bring this up out of the blue, but I've got a fish I want to recommend to Yorha units. Er, to be more specific, I want you to eat it so I can study how its oil affects a Yorha unit, you know? For science? Anywho, stop by if you get bored. It's my treat. All right, cool. <laughs> and Pascal, with valuable information. My friend, it feels as if we haven't spoken in quite some time. As it turns out, many stores in our village recently acquired a number of new items, and I wanted to be sure that everyone from Yorha was aware of this. I would also be delighted if you would commit to memory that there are some out there who, despite being machine life forms, are willing to open their hearts and share such valuable information. Yours in friendship, Pascal. Wow, new items and a fish. Good stuff. Man, this job can be pretty rough sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments, and you should work on keeping your opinions in check. Your heart aren't allowed to be emotional, remember? I think some of us are better at that than others. Speaking of emotion, those Adam and Eve units sure seemed less than logical. I'm heading to the transporter. Fine. Yeah, shut up, 9S. Alright. Well. Where shall we go? I guess we could go to Pascal's village. See what's new in the shop, huh? Hold up, Pascal. We'll come to talk to you in a moment. It's good to see you in one piece. I was worried I'd lost a valuable customer. Are you looking for something? I don't know. What have you? Some recoveries? I mean, these are pretty cheap. Let's buy a bunch of them. Like, 20? Why not? A couple large ones, maybe. Some mediums. Not seeing much else here that's worth anything. Anything from the weapons shop? Just a machine sword that I don't think we're very interested in. Nothing we can upgrade? Alright. Well, let's go see. Actually. That's a main quest. Hmm. I'm not certain about that just yet. What else what else is on our map? We got the Yorha Betrayers. Wandering couple if we can figure out a way to get over there. Ah, uh, 11B's memento. Maybe we've got enough things going on that it's worth trying to explore the, uh, abandoned factory. And since we can teleport places now, it is all the more easy to do so. Alright, yeah, I think I don't want to talk to Pascal because I don't really want to advance the main quest at this point. I feel like I remember thinking at some point uh, in a previous playthrough that, like, coming here and talking right away seemed to, like, advance things a bit more quickly than I'd have liked, though my memory, of course, is absolutely terrible, so I could be thinking of an entirely different time. In any case, let's pop in the resistance camp really quick, uh, just to see if that triggers anything. Any new quests or anything of that sort. And then if it doesn't, Abandoned factory time. Mm 
Man, I really hope this recording is working. This is, uh... Maybe the first time I've gone done three consecutive episodes in a single session. So it sure would suck if all of this ends up being unusable. Does the supply trader have anything new or good? Looks like no to both. I don't see any uh, anything here. All right. Mm, oh, near the factory. That'll do. Bye, nine S. Oh, this isn't quite as near the uh, factory as I thought it would be, but oh well. Oh, what now? Operator 60 to 2B. Come in, 2B. 2B here. The monitoring signal from the new access point has gone silent. I'm sending you the positional data. Please investigate the site as soon as possible. Understood. Investigating communications, hmm? While we're here, does uh, our friend Angles have anything new to say? I'm guessing no. But perhaps it's worth checking on anyway. And... You gotta get real close, apparently. There we go. Yes, he is tired and must rest. Okay. You know what? Is there some sort of underground spot that we can get to? Here. Or is it an above ground spot? I don't know. I guess we can climb up. I know we've done that before, but maybe it would do something now. Let's climb up and then go down. And if neither of those works, then we will just be off to do other things. Is this like your neck? Does it hurt when I do this? We're good friends. Um, can you go up that side of the ladder? Okay. Oh yeah, you can. Alright. I don't think this is taking us anywhere. Still check. Oh! Well, hello! Damn it. Oh, you I'll guys you. upset the teacher and get detention. Oh, yeah. How did we do that? That was pretty sweet. Ouch. Ouch. Oh. Ouch. Come on, I'll use item. There we go. Oh, oh. Okay, let's, uh... There we go. Ouch. Alright, you got one of them. I mean, you attacked us first. Like, probably in about the same way that you also could, you know? Shut up! You don't know anything! 
Analysis. Unit 8B specializes in close quarters combat. Proposal. Destroy enemy with long range attacks. Destroy? What happened to detain? Yeah, I guess the strategy does seem to be working. Good suggestion, Pod. <laughs> Hang on, I want to pick up this item. Yeah! Oh! Well then. Ouch. Might be a good idea to get a heal off here. I feel like they're supposed to come up in the air with me when I do that. <laughs> Wonder if it still does the damage or not. Ouch. Ouch again! Oh, do we have another attack there? Yeah. Oh, wrong button. There we go. I like throwing the big sword. That seems like a good uh, ranged attack here. You gonna be stuck up there for a second again? We'll blast you then. At least we'll try to. Ouch. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. We're good, we're good. No problems here. Got some money. New weapon, Type 40 Lance. All units destroyed. Black box signals confirmed offline. Mission complete. We killed them. Our fellow units. Why the hell did they steal from the resistance in the first place? You think Anemone might know something to be? Let's find out. Guess we have some investigating to do. Somehow that uh, mission complete from our pod didn't uh, feel as triumphant as I think uh, was intended there. Whee! <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, Anemone. There's blood on our hands. What do you know about this? Yes, can I help you? We need to check something with you, actually. Can you tell us about the Yorha soldiers who were stealing your supplies? This is the first I've heard of it. Well, that's, uh, strange. Huh? I mean, we keep our supplies in multiple locations, but so far as I know, nothing's gone missing. I see. Well, thanks. That's it. Hmm. Something seems a little suspicious here. So it turns out those soldiers didn't actually steal anything. Which means... what? 9S to command. Come in. Operator 210 here. Go ahead. It's about the Yorha soldiers who deserted. Copy that, 9S. We've confirmed their status on this end. No, but I mean... The Resistance says that none of their supplies are actually missing. So what's going on here? I lack access to the data concerning this mission. Huh? The order came from the Commander herself. What? Operator, I don't understand. Be careful, 9S. I have no further information. Huh? Operator? Operator? The hell is that all about? Let's go. But... We're here to fight. That's all. Wow. 
Well then. That's a bummer. Let's check out that data. Why is there new stuff on the small biped? Oh, hello. Oh! Because we found ones with torches. Occasionally, machine life forms can be found carrying torches in dark places. As machines are thought to be capable of seeing in the dark, it's assumed they have some other reason for this behavior. They tend to use their own vital fluids as fuel for the torches, though the meaning of this, if there is one, is also unknown. This spherical machine life form requires tremendous energy to stay afloat, so offense is not its strong suit. It offsets this by equipping weapons that are powerful enough to make up for its inherent lack of strength. Oh, we got more information on Adam. Uh, oh, I'm trying to figure out how to like scroll. Oh, oh, there we go. This unit has achieved an unusual level of evolution among machine life forms, as it possesses a strong resemblance to androids. Born naked from a cocoon of machine life forms, its movement was initially quite clum clumsy. It grew rapidly, however, and began learning new methods of attack. Okay, we already had that bit, so. Adam was again encountered inside the alien mothership. Strangely enough, he spent part of that fight lecturing his foes about how the aliens met their end at the hand of the machines. Deeply fascinated with mankind, he seeks to dissect the surviving humans on the moon. And then we've got Eve. Eve was again encountered in the alien mothership. He has the ability to regenerate no matter how many times he is killed, and adores the unit known as Adam, who he thinks of as an older brother. And androids, we've got 8B, a Yorha deserter that used to be a captain. It had a deft command of multiple weapons and switched easily between them in combat. Ordered to be apprehended by command for abandoning its post, it put up a fierce resistance before being destroyed. 22B, a Yorha deserter, Ordered to be apprehended by the command after bending his post. Eh, and same thing with 64B. Okay. Not much information there, which I guess makes sense, because we weren't given much information. I just want to leave and see if that triggers anything. Doesn't seem to have so far. Okay. Well, I guess then... Still, uh, other stuff off in nowhere. And other nowhere, so, yeah, guess we're just heading over here. So, factory entrance, we can't go there for some reason? I'm not entirely certain why. Um, but, oh well, we'll go back to here, I suppose. I don't really want that to be there. There we go. Okay. And it's barely any longer to just run from here, so let's do that. Sorry for doing so much fighting up on your back, buddy. You still tired? Yeah, I'm still tired. Alright. Well, you get some rest now. Ah, uh, you can't get us. Oh, we should check out that new spear that we got. Take a look at it now. We can at least swap out the spear for our other weapon set. Type 4-0 lance. I mean, it's less damage. I guess we leveled this one up. So I guess it's probably not worth using right now. I guess it's got pretty consistent damage, 240 to 250. But I mean, that's always less than either of our other ones do. Well, I've changed my mind. We are not going to equip the new spear. At least until we can get it an upgrade. And then we'll think about it. Hmm. 
I feel like doing a quick save here. Did we? Hey, look, we haven't lost all of our chips. Isn't that nice? I was kind of wondering if we had at some point during all of the dying we did against the to android slash human like machines so we can transport from here but not to here I guess it wouldn't show up on the list probably oh the cave has signal interference okay well we'll check that out then actually after uh, after we're done here think there's anything down either side here. Nope. Doesn't appear to be anything. Already opened that box. This really feels like a place where something would just come crashing down for us to fight. Hi, Eddie. Well, apparently, the uh, black box we're searching for could be literally anywhere. Is this locked or can it be opened? Nope. No luck there. I'm hoping this isn't, you know, completely fruitless and that we will find something of interest. Well, got him. <laughs> I mean, the enemy levels are low enough that it uh, doesn't seem to be posing any threats. Maybe if we run into higher level enemies, we'll know that we're going in the right direction. Hard to say. Things gonna come out of these boxes again? Apparently so. Oh, these ones look a little stronger than our first trip through here. Not significantly so, but yeah. Oh, hello. Almost missed you. Ouch. Let's go ahead and repair this one, I guess. Uh, that thing around us. It be some sort of defensive deal. Oop. Drop right up. Nice. And what's through here? This bridge. I mean, so that's like a shortcut, but do we want the shortcut? Did that light up before? That seems new. Um. Oh, I was like, "What the hell is that?" Uh, but you know, let's not take the shortcut, just because what if the thing that we're searching for is on our way? Hold on, which direction do we come from? Oh, dang it! No, I got all turned around. I'm pretty sure we need to go this way. This 
seems right. Nope, nope, this is wrong. This is very wrong. We just came down from there. Right? Maybe? Oh, I'm all turned around. Let's see what this looks like. No, we definitely came from here. Well, yeah, okay. No, we already fought everything over here. Yes. Okay, then. Back we go. the last time we were here. Probably was, but I don't recall. Is this also still can't, yep, still can't go down that elevator. Apparently not particularly near the uh, black box since we're in the splotchy region of the quest zone. Oh, hello. Kinda surprised we didn't get hit there. I'm assuming there's nothing for us up here since we've been up here before. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah. Shockwave continuing to be quite nice. Okay, this should bring us back around to that other side where we were not taking the shortcuts, I think. Yep, okay. Well, at least we're being thorough. I feel like this isn't the type of place that we want to just be checking back in every, you know, couple hours of gameplay or whatever. May as well try to make the most of it while we're here. But we don't have to come back again for a bit. Ouch, 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 ouch. You guys are all jerks! I mean, I get it, like, you live here and I'm intruding, but still, you're jerks. You could be more welcoming. You don't have to be like this. Now give me all your rusted clumps and broken circuits. See, these are player bodies, right? So the ones that, there are some bodies around that are not player bodies that just give you a chip when you pick them up, like permanently, instead of just the temporary effects. So those are always worth picking up. But sometimes it can be a bit hard to tell the difference between the two. Though I think if they are glowing, like those ones in there we saw, I think those are always players. And I think the non-glowy bodies are the ones which uh, give you the permanent drops. Okay, we've already been across there. Oh, hello. Why, right, there's a lot of you, huh? We certainly have gotten stronger, haven't we? I'm still gonna hop across anyway, just to just check, make sure there's nothing new. Oh, he kicks down this ladder, which is another kind of shortcut, I guess. But again, want to be thorough, so. Not use the shortcut this time. And there's the ladder. 
It's not much of a shortcut. But it's something. Hmm. What's happening here? I guess they're just waiting for us to come from the other direction. Oh. Let's try out that hammer. Pod programs. We can stick that on pod C here. Why not? So I can switch to that by... There we go. Charge it up. Double hammers. Here we go. Smash! Ha ha! It's kind of fun. I would expect that the black box would be in kind of an obvious place. Hopefully. <laughs> I suppose uh, we will find out. Or we will not find out. One or the other. It's pretty much the only two options. Tricky one. I don't know if we can. I don't think we can get it. Oh, what if I'm here? Ah. Oh well. That's one rusted clump that we shan't claim. Somebody should really put out these fires, huh? Seems kind of dangerous. Is this it? Nope. That's just some rubber. Well, shoot. We've come all the way That's back a Yorha to... Unit. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Analysis. Yorha Type B body confirmed. It belongs to the missing unit known as 11B. So this is where you landed. Pod, can you access her black box? Negative. Unit 11B's black box has been irreparably damaged. Hmm. Proposal. Unit 2B should recover any usable weapons. Fragmented data detected in memory region. Eleven B's escape plan. Elapsed time two minutes thirteen seconds, I assume. That's what that is. <laughs> Reactivation complete. A check of my body reveals various failures. Communication functions have been destroyed. I cannot contact my team or the bunker. I leave a draft of this message here as a log. Then eight minutes later. I verify the plan once more. Using my supposed destruction in this sortie as a guise, I sever all communication. I then pass beneath the abandoned factory and escape. Further analysis reveals that I took anti-air fire while in the flight unit, resulting in damage to my body. No matter, it can be repaired. About five minutes later, I'm cold. My sensory system seemed to be failing. Another 15 or so minutes. Noise has started to cloud my vision. Virus warnings appear frequently. It is unclear whether I am infected or if the system is in error. Then only about 10 seconds later, Repairs are proceeding poorly, perhaps because I am flustered. Pursuers will come if I don't move soon. Was I wrong to attempt escape? Another minute passes. I'm scared. I want to go back to the bunker, but I can't restore communications. Five more minutes. This can't continue. I can't stay here. I have to run. Yorha squadron was wrong. I have to find somewhere safer. I'm scared. I'm so scared. And then about... 12 minutes after... No, no. 7 minutes. Painful, it hurts. Help. Why stop? Who am I? Wrong, wrong, wrong. I need to run. She was planning to go AWOL. Violation of regulations detected. However, due to the death of the unit in question, corrective punishment is impossible. All bummer, Pod. Dang. I'll bring this weapon back to 16D in the bunker.
You avoided punishment this time, 11B. Now we have to run all the way back, don't we? Well, we can take the shortcuts on the way back at least. I didn't see any... Up well, those other markers seem to be like... I got the impression they were like deep underground. Which uh, seems to suggest that it would be maybe those elevators that we couldn't go through. I didn't see any obvious alternate paths that we could have taken, so... I guess we'll need to make another trip back here at some point. this? Is this new? Is this just another shortcut? I think it's just another shortcut. Guess we missed one though. Interesting. So we still can't like go over there. No, nope, this is just uh, yet another way to get through this area slightly faster. How much that's worth, I don't really know. I'm, I mean, I don't know how many times we're going to have to be traveling all the way back here. And yeah, this doesn't let us go anywhere different. Oops. Well, anyway. Sort of neat, I guess. Got some more rubber. This way, we can go across here. And then from here, we can go this way. sad to see, you know, player bodies scattered about this area because you have to assume that they, uh, died in that initial section and had to start completely over again. A sad fate, to be sure. Alright. We've made it back out. I think a save is in order. Oh, I guess we're not quite able to? We should be well within the save range. I don't know what's up with that. Is it out here? Yes, there's the stairs. Nothing obvious to see? No. Okay. There we are now, saving as possible. So we need to head back to the, uh... Bunker. Yes. Alright, well, I think we'll call that an episode, and uh, start of the next one, we will be heading to the bunker to uh, give 11B's sword to her friend, and uh, see what happens there. Thanks for joining, see ya!